example of Coffee with Acharya. I am Ranjvi Reddy, first year CSE student and today's host. With me we have Dr. Anand Sir with us who is our Associate Professor of CSE Department. Hello Sir, how are you feeling today? Yeah, I am very good. Thank you for inviting me. I am yes, very sir. glad to be here. Thank you Sir. So, uh, can you tell us about yourself Sir? So, I am Anand Sir as well and uh, I am Associate Professor in Department of Computer Science here in Sanskriti College of Engineering and I have done my Masters from National Institute of Technology Meghalaya and then my PhD is from National Institute of Technology Patna. Previously I have done my MSc from Pondicherry University. Oh, it's great to hear that you have graduated from NIT. Sir, uh, can you uh, tell us why did you choose computer science as your career and then why did you come to teaching as your main? Yeah, choosing computer science is because uh, I was really interested in computer and then when I found coding so that's just make me curious and because of that curiosity I have uh, you know uh, I have that attraction towards coding and computer science that's why I have chosen computer science mm -hmm. and teaching because you know because my family is all of teachers my mother was teacher mm -hmm. uh, my, in my father's side almost everyone is teacher so I think it is inheritance as we say in computer science yes. so I think that is the reason okay, sir. so uh, do you enjoy teaching sir as do you have a passion for teaching yes passion for teaching also and uh, I want to make students curious you know yes, that's how they will learn and I think I can make them curious in computer science and coding so that's why I have chosen you okay, so I've heard that you've graduated from NIT. So can you tell us uh, the experience of NIT because uh, we students have never seen NITs. So can you give us an insight to NITs? Okay, so NIT uh, when you, I mean first when uh, in my masters when I went there, it's a whole new environment. Yes, sir. We have different culture, uh, different languages are there, yes, sir. and uh, then we can learn a lot from there languages, culture and you know uh, everyone is perfect, almost perfect in their field so and then we have to share our ideas and multidisciplinary research is there yes, so it's a great learning platform you can learn a lot from I mean if you are there in some central institute like NIT central universities you will learn a lot yes, that's for sure I know like uh, college days are your golden days so you must have any fun memory of yours can you you know refresh and tell us about it yes so uh, me and my friend my friend was from West Bengal and we used to discuss everything uh, regarding anything and everything we uh, we discussed like for 8 hours in a from uh, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. it's like 12 hours and we have discussed everything and anything people used to come there and they see what we are discussing so I think that was a great memory and uh, when you used to celebrate birthdays yes. you know birthday bombs yes. in different languages we learn when you learn a language you first you learn slangs yes, so that was also a great learning experience yes, sir. sir so you had uh, you know mixture of exposure in NIT like you've got the south north every so you are from north sir yes basically I am Kashmiri Gram okay. and then we settled in Uttar Pradesh okay. and then I am roaming around India yes. getting new cultures new languages yeah. how do you like it here sir yeah it's south? very no it's not my first experience in south okay. I was in Pondicherry yes sir in uh, you know if you say uh, Telangana or Andhra Pradesh, then it's first experience. It's very peaceful area, Uttarpati, mm. and uh, I used to go ashram. Mm. That is also great. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, sir, uh, you've done your PhD. So, can you tell us about your journey, like uh, an insight to your journey, and you know, guide us how we can do our PhDs? So, PhD is very really tough business. It's like marriage with your guide for five years. <laughs> okay. So you have to listen to him. You have to do things what he's <laughs> saying. Yeah. So it's like uh, kind of tough, but you enjoy. Okay. And you will learn a lot because uh, uh, you will get to know new technologies. Yes. And that's it. I think uh, publishing research paper and creating a team for doing research 
is great thing. You will learn a lot in PhD, but it will take time and you know patience and time. When did you have an idea like I want to do PhD? So after my master, I mean MSc, yes. I was thinking about my PhD. Okay. So uh, first thing is that I can do PhD in science, but I have chosen a long way with technology. Yes. So I have done my uh, master of technology first, then I prepared for gate. Yes. So in first term I cleared gate, and then I joined an IT Okay. And at that time I was in a uh, little bit of doubt that should I go for uh, IT sector. Or PhD, yes. but I, again I found PhD is good for me. Okay. I cannot uh, devote my time 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Okay. every day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Like any person who chooses computer science, only goal is to get into IT sectors. So you coming to a PhD yes. and coming it's to a teaching, part, yes. teaching field, yeah, it's very different. So a little uh, note to the Sanskriti students who's watching this. Uh, yes. A message to the Sanskritians. Ah, okay. So my message would be, uh, you know, you can learn from anyone, at least there is one thing you can learn, right? Yes, so I think learning is a continuous process. We can learn from you also, the students also, and definitely you will learn from us. Yes, sir. So I think we will create an environment in which we will learn together yes, with curiosity. I think that would be better. Yes, sir. Yes, I hope you guide us through this journey of engineering which is 4 years. So I hope you enjoy our company and we enjoy yours. Sure. Thank you so much.